हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम बैक टू जैकेट एजुकेशनल चैनल सो दिस इज द वीडियो अबाउट सॉल्विंग द आंसर्स व्हिच केम इन द महाराष्ट्र सेट एग्जामिनेशन ऑफ 2021 फॉर द एनवायरमेंटल साइंस पेपर सो दिस क्वेश्चंस विल बी आल्सो अ रिवीजन फॉर द अपकमिंग यूजीसी नेट एंड अदर सेट एग्जामिनेशन सो गेट रेडी विद द पेन एंड पेपर बिकॉज वी आर गोइंग फॉर द रैपिड रिवीजन एंड वी विल नो द आंसर्स ऑफ एवरी क्वेश्चंस so before going for the questions i would like to thank each and every one of you those who have helped to find these answers so these are the students from our jacklit team who have contributed to the answer key so thank you all and now we will start the discussion so the first question is an element that is a with the atomic number of 94 and the atomic mass of 238 forms another element b after one alpha particle so after one alpha particle means after one alpha particle is released it is forming an element which is b so the question is asking the atomic number and the atomic mass of the new element b will be how much so for this i would like to tell you the concept behind this this is very important and frequent last question so the question is telling there is an element that is a with the atomic number which is written as 94 so in the left hand side which is called as z it is the atomic number of the element and the upper top corner 238 is the atomic mass of that element so atomic number means number of protons present that is 94 and atomic mass means number of protons plus number of neutrons so i hope till this you are clear now it is telling it releases one alpha particle so alpha particle means it releases helium 24 that means helium with the atomic number 2 and atomic mass 4 is released when when the b is formed so b will be also having its atomic number so we will write it as z and its atomic mass as a so what happens is this is very simple we have to subtract 238 minus 4 so we'll get a that is 238 minus 4 is 234 and here 94 minus 2 so the both the atomic number will subtract and will get 94 minus 2 will be 92 so this will be the configuration of the new element b with the atomic number 92 and atomic mass 234 so i hope you are able to clear this doubt an element is there a it releases helium that is alpha particle and it becomes b so how we will find the atomic number and atomic mass we will just minus that will subtract 94 Minus two and two thirty eight minus four. So here the correct option will be option number C. That is ninety two and two thirty four are the respective atomic number of that element. That is atomic number and atomic mass of B element. Coming to the next question. Next question was also very easy. The question was. Earth summit at Rio de Janeiro in nineteen ninety two released a blueprint for the environment and development, which is known as what? so this was very simple and very frequent last question answer will be agenda 21 that is the blueprint of this summit coming to the next question the third question i was number of minerals in mohs scale of hardness is how much so very easy there are 10 number of minerals in the mohs scale that is 10 scale of hardness coming to the next question the fourth question was denitrification is a process of what so i would suggest you to hold your mobile in the horizontal mode आप अपना मोबाइल को टिल्ट कर लीजिए सो दैट इट विल बी क्लियर सो डीनाइट्रिफिकेशन इज अ प्रोसेस ऑफ रिडक्शन सो इट इज प्रोसेस ऑफ रिडक्शन दैट इज डीनाइट्रिफिकेशन वी शुड नो दैट नाइट्रोजन साइकिल इट इज द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट स्टेप नाउ कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज ए रामसर साइट एंड हियर द करेक्ट ऑप्शन विल बी चिलिका लेक प्रेजेंट इन ओडिशा इज वन ऑफ द रामसर साइट बट दिस थ्री आर नॉट कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट सिक्स क्वेश्चन द सिक्स क्वेश्चन वॉज फ्रॉम द Beer Lambert law, which is one of the very frequent last question. The question was, according to Beer's law, the intensity of transmitted light is decreased in proportion of what? So here, in Beer's law, it is decreasing the transmitted light as per the proportion of concentration. Yes, you should know that the law is A is equal to K C L. So here it is decreasing in the proportion of concentration. Coming to the seventh question. Seventh question was role of suppressor in ion chromatography is to do what? So seventh question was related to chromatography, and here the role of suppressor is to reduce the baseline conductivity in the ion chromatography. Let's move to the eighth question. Eighth question was also very easy and very frequent. Last question: density of water is maximum at yes. 
4 degree Celsius, option C will be correct. Maximum water density is found at 4 degree Celsius. Coming to the next question, which was from the BOD, biochemical oxygen demand. The question was 5 days BOD is taken at a temperature of what? And here, the correct option will be at 20 degree Celsius, 5 day BOD is taken. Coming to the 10th question, 10th question was chlorination of water. Yes, we do chlorination by adding chlorine in the water. It is done to remove what? So it is done to remove the bacteria present in the water. That is option B will be the correct option. Coming to the next question, that is 11 number question is molar mass of a compound is what? So this was basic concept from the chemistry and here the correct option will be option number D. Mass in 1 gram of a compound is called as molar mass of a compound. Coming to the 12th question, so 12th question was 63 gram per mole HNO3 that is nitric acid contains how much molecules? So this question I will leave on you to comment which is the correct option. I will not tell this but I will give you a hint that it will be either A or C. Coming to the 13th question. So the 13th question was which one of the following will not react with water to produce hydrogen gas even at red hot condition. So it is asking which will not react with water to produce hydrogen gas even at high temperature. So here correct option will be beryllium because lithium, calcium and magnesium they will form but beryllium will not form or produce hydrogen gas because it will not react at that condition also. Coming to the 14th question, the 14th question was one molecule of pentane has how many atoms and here one molecule of pentane has 12 hydrogen atoms. So you should calculate as per the formula. So you should comment me what is the formula of pentane. Next coming to the 15th question. 15th question was how many electrons are in barium 2 plus. So I am not going to solve all this question. I am just telling what will be the answer because it is the answer key discussion. So here number of electrons in barium 2 plus will be 54. So you should calculate it. Next coming to the 16th question. The 16th question was in an aquatic ecosystem level of dissolved oxygen from top to bottom shows what? So these all questions are taken from the UGC net examination. Very simple and here the DO that is dissolved oxygen decreases from top to bottom. So maximum dissolved oxygen is present at the top portion of the aquatic system and minimum at the bottom portion. Coming to the 17th question. 17th question was an example of lentic ecosystem is what? And here among the four the correct option will be lake because flowing water, stream and river all are lotic that means they are in flowing condition but lake is still condition. Coming to the 18th question, 18th question was the various sources of pollutants cause a body of water becomes rich with nutrients. So this process is known as what? Here it will be known as eutropic but in the options it was not given eutropic because it is telling pollutants becoming and causing the water becoming rich with nutrients so it will be eutropic. Let's move to the 19th question. 19th question was which one of the following units of sewage treatment plant is used for removal of dissolved substances and here the correct option will be option number A activated sludge is used in the sewage treatment plant for the removal of dissolved substances. Let's move to the question number 20. Question 20 is role of eukaryotic and prokaryotic organism is being utilized in the oxidation pond method for the treatment of clarified sewage. So what are these organisms? And here the correct option will be option number A. Yes, eukaryotic organisms and prokaryotic organisms will be bacteria and algae. Coming to the question number 21. Question 21 is which one of the following nutrient cycle have biological fixation? And here the nitrogen cycle is having the biological fixation which we know as nitrogen fixation. Coming to the next question, the next question is Shannon index measures what? And this was a bit confusing but here the correct option will be option number B. It measures the relative abundance. Let's move to the next question. Question number 23 is on your screen. Question 23 is the species of plants and animals which are geographically restricted in distribution 
आर नोन एज वर्ड सो आर वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन करेक्ट ऑप्शन विल बी दीज आर कॉल्ड एज एंडमिक स्पीसीज लेट्स मूव टू द क्वेश्चन ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी फोर्थ क्वेश्चन इज बी ओ डी दैट इज बायोकेमिकल ऑक्सीजन डिमांड वैल्यू ऑफ सीवेज इंडिकेट्स वर्ट एंड हियर द बी ओ डी इंडिकेट्स द हाई ऑर्गेनिक मैटर कंटेंट ऑफ द सीवेज कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज एम पी एन दैट इज मोस्ट प्रोबेबल नंबर टेस्ट इज कैरिड आउट फॉर मेजरिंग वर्ट सो हियर दिस मोस्ट प्रोबेबल नंबर टेस्ट इज यूज फॉर द टेस्ट ऑफ ड्रिंकिंग वाटर क्वालिटी सो इट इज यूज फॉर एनालाइजिंग द ड्रिंकिंग वाटर कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स सो डोंट गेट कंफ्यूज विथ वेस्ट वाटर कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज इसीना फिटिडा एंड लुम्ब्रिकस रूबेलस यूड्रेस युगिनी आर इंपॉर्टेंट इन विच काइंड ऑफ प्रोसेस सो ऑल दीज आर द वराइटीज ऑफ अर्थवर्म विच आर यूजफुल फॉर वर्मी कंपोस्टिंग coming to the next question next question is griha that is house rating is rating tool for which of the following fields so as i have already said so it is used for rating the green buildings next question is which aquatic fern is used to increase the yield of paddy crops and here azolla will be the correct option which is used which is an aquatic fern to increase the yield of paddy crops let's move to the 29th question Twenty ninth question was which of the following is an airborne bacterial disease? And among the four, the correct option will be pertussis, or which is also known as whooping cough, is a disease caused by the bacteria. Let's move to the thirtieth question. Question number thirty is on your screen. The question is which one of the following helps to identify the objects on aerial photographs of the Earth's surface? And here, the correct option will be. Signature that is atmospheric signature of all the substances are different from the substance to substance, which helps in identifying the objects on aerial photographs. Let's move to the next question. The next question is which wavelength can be most useful for remote sensing from satellite in cloud covered condition? And here the correct option will be option number A. Yes, zero point four micrometer. or we can say 400 nanometer is the suitable range for remote sensing in the satellite in the cloud covered condition let's move to the question 32 32 question is magnitude of the earthquake in dash scale is a measure of the energy released at the source of earthquake so here the correct option will be option number a in the richter scale magnitude of earthquake is measured let's move to the next question The next question is thirty-three question. The question is what is the mandatory notice period for public hearing? So it is from the EIA, and the correct option will be option number B. That is one month is the mandatory notice period for public hearing. Let's move to the question thirty-four. Thirty-fourth question is again from EIA. The purpose of screening step in EIA is to perform what? And here the correct option will be it is done. to determine whether a full eia is needed or not let's move to the 35th question again eia question so the question was in eia the multi attribute theory is used to describe what so here some of you were confused the correct option will be option number a it is used for the identification of alternatives to be evaluated and structuring of environmental parameters and here you should also know baseline study is used for studying the existing environment quality of study area so it will not be here the correct answer it will be for the baseline study let's move to the 36th question the 36th question is ramsar convention is aimed at saving what and here very easy it is used for it is aiming for saving the wetlands throughout the world 37th question is the state government can declare a sanctuary under which of the section of wildlife protection act of 1972 and here the state government can assign any place as a sanctuary under the section 18a of wildlife protection act let's move to the next question next question is 38 question that is in which form are annual returns for hazardous waste submitted to state pollution control board annually and here form number 
is used for submitting the annual returns for the hazardous waste to the state pollution control board let's move to the next question next question number 39 so here 39 question is an environmental audit helps in achieving what and here the correct option will be it helps to waste minimization to resource optimization for compliance to environmental law so all of the above will be the correct option let's move to the next question next question is question number 40 which of the following is a waste generated in the pulp and paper industry and here the correct option will be black liquor black liquor is a waste generated from the pulp and paper industry let's move to the questions next question next question is select the suspended growth process of biological treatment from the following so the correct option will be activated sludge process let's move to next questions next question is in microwave remote sensing significant wave heights that is SWH over ocean surface can be determined by which of the following and here the correct option will be they can be determined using radar altimeter so altimeter for measuring the heights you should remember let's move to the next question the next question is which of the following sequence is correct for the energy flow in the ecosystem so very simple question and here the correct option will be option number b that is from producer to consumer the energy flows and from consumer to decomposers the energy flows in the ecosystem let's move to the 44th question 44th question is which method of rainwater harvesting can be adopted by individual house owner and here the correct option will be option number b rooftop rainwater harvesting can be adopted by individual house owner let's move to the next question next question is which of the following are the correct criteria which meet to prescribe eco logo so in which product we should assign eco logo or eco mark and here three things are correct that means a product must cause less pollution in comparison to other products we can assign the eco logo and it should be recycled and it should contribute to save non-renewable resources but this is wrong it is telling that it should contribute to environmental health disorder it is wrong so 1 3 and 4 that means option number c will be the correct option let's move to the next question the next question is the process in which the microorganism produce metabolic products in soil which inhibit the growth or cause killing of other microorganism is known as what so here also some of you were confused so the correct option will be antibiosis not antibiotics so the process it is asking that means it will be antibiosis process in which the organisms are producing antibiotics let's move to the next question the color of red soil is due to the presence of what so even a school child can give this answer answer will be iron due to the presence of iron the color of red soil is red in color let's move to the next question which one of the following soils has the highest porosity and the options were silty soil sandy soil clay soil or loamy soil and here the correct option will be clay soil is having the highest porosity among the four let's move to the next question the next question is tropical savanna biomes include what and here the correct option will be option number d tropical savanna biomes include grasslands with scattered trees let's move to the 50th question will be able to complete the half century the question is which of the following is not ethical principle of conservation biology so it is asking which is not and here the correct option will be option number c that is ecological complexity is bad is the, not the ethical principle of conservation biology so ecological complexity is good as per the ethical principle of conservation biology so if you want to participate in the daily quiz you can join our telegram group the link is in the description learn for the environment is the name of the group you can join and prepare for the environmental science entrances so see you guys in our next video till then keep smiling and believe in yourself